Hey everybody, this is John Lee Sanders. I'm a blues singer, songwriter. I play jazz, gospel, and Americana, all kinds of music. I uh, play saxophone, piano, guitar. I've been playing all my life. I started as a, a 12 year old soul singer in Birmingham, Alabama with my brother's band. And uh, started studying piano and learned the saxophone in Louisiana and the jazz band. Uh, moved to Texas and studied at the University of North Texas, uh, where I learned uh, classical orchestra orchestration and big band jazz. And started writing songs when, when I was about 14, 15 years old. And fi finally got a hit. I, I wrote a song in the housing crisis in California called, called Foreclose on the House of Love. And, uh, a woman from Austin named Marsha Ball, she did a version of it, and, and her version ended up being number nine on blues, blues charts, and uh, got me uh, a nomination for Blues Song of the Year. We got married, too young, too soon, and no money down, no pay my sister. I had to believe in I'm so far in the red, all I can see is blue. They can take away my diamond rings, honey, it's you I hate to lose. Time gets up. How the love. All right. Moved out to California in 1977, uh, about 10 years after the summer of love, and got a record deal with company called Rio Records. Uh, they signed John Cougar Mellencamp and a band I, I had named Uncle Rainbow, which uh, <clears throat> had, a, had a really hot following on, on the scene. Uh, we played all original music and cover tunes like Steely Dan and Herbie Hancock. And, uh, I ended up staying out in California for 29 years. Things I missed, oh, but don't be unkind. 
it don't mean I'm blind. Perhaps there's a thing or two I think I'm lying in bed. I shouldn't have said, but there it is. Wow. That turned things around. That's the way it should have been done. This is a real Thank plea you, for John. Me. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Keith, for coming up here and, and playing with us. This was a, a big treat for me oh, man. and all of us. Yeah. Well, it, it's a big treat for me playing with all you guys. And there's Started doing film soundtracks, commercials, you name it, any, anything to make a living. I, I worked for four years in, in a black church in, in Oakland, California, playing Hammond, Oregon. I always love playing gospel music, but uh... oh, well, first time I heard gospel music was probably in Mississippi. I mean, that's my first memory. Um, my family moved there when I was three, and um, we went to church like you know two or three times a week. to Vancouver in 1977 and, and played on Long John Baldy's album. A gypsy woman told my mother before I was born. She said they got a bar child coming. Long John Baldy was, was they called him the, the father of the Pierce Blues. Six foot seven in his stocking feet. Funny as hell, man. Uh, Baldy and, and I toured together uh, from 1970, 1978, all over Australia, in UK, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, and funny as hell, and, and he, Bowie kind of got, got me back on track playing blues. But I, I, I went to the Montreal Jazz Festival in 1973 and I met Professor Long here and Dr. John, um, Alan Toussaint, Freddie King. He ended up working with a lot of them. I did, I did a record with, with Dr. John and uh, Zigaboo. Uh, played on hundreds of, of uh, session recordings as, as a piano player, a saxophone player, backup singer, arranger. Uh, I, I even I even raised the horn for Tower of Power on the other record. My, my mom and my grandmother, and, and all my mom's side of the family are from Memphis. My, my grandmother played piano and organ in the silent movies in Memphis. Great, great piano player. Uh, man, she could play stride, and uh, I never got to hear her play. I, I was born in 1951, and she had uh, developed arthritis in her fingers. Um, but her house was uh, right in the middle of the hood, and. Uh, 
about a block away was the birthplace of Aretha Franklin, and, and on another corner was uh, was Royal Studios in Memphis, where Am Peoples did "I Can't Stand the Rain." Um, Al Green recorded it. I'm so in love with you. It, it, it was a great uh, place to discover music. My, my mom's first cousin played with W.C. Handy, father of the blues. Uh, my, my older brother was a piano player, and when he was about 12 years old, he, he discovered Jerry Lee Lewis, and he was studying classical music, and, and he heard Jerry Lee, man, it was game over. Uh, so the, there, there was always music around the house. My mother loved Broadway music and, and the Great American Songbook and Sinatra and all that. And, but uh, we loved soul music. My, my, my other brother, Steve, who was a, a famous anchor man in Chicago, a uh, great guitar player, taught me how to play guitar and bass. And uh, we all had our own bands. We played together sometimes. And anyway, uh, I hope you like this video of, of some of the clips that I've done over the years. Yeah. Be sure and check out uh, some of my music on Amazon, who featured me on their Christmas playlist. Um, iTunes, uh, Pandora, Spotify. Great being back here in Europe. I'm going to be touring this summer with Gecko Turner. Uh, check out his music. Great, great singer-songwriter. He does uh, blues, jazz, soul, world, world beat music, and uh, Afro beat. Um, looking forward to meeting a lot of you and uh, check out my music. Thank you.